Whenever there's a new photograph of a royal baby fans go wild but the latest is causing more of a stir than ever. A new comparison photo shared on Twitter demonstrates the remarkable similarities between Archie Harrison and his mother and fans have been quick to react. The post shows a picture of Meghan taken when she was six months old and sat on the lap of her half-sister, Samantha Markle. The snapshot of Archie, meanwhile, was featured in Prince Harry's Apple TV Plus series focused on mental health. It shows the little boy and dad Harry playing happily on a swing set in the back garden of the family's Montecito, California home. The toddler's curls, which, by the looks of the photo shared side by side on social media, are clearly inherited from Meghan, can be seen as he clings happily to the swing rope. The resemblance is so clear in the mother and son's facial features, their eyes, noses and mouths, as well as their adorable curls. Fans on Twitter rushed to the comments section to discuss the comparison snapshots, with one stating that mother and son look identical with their dark eyes and smile. While another said, I think he is changing from Harry to Meghan's faces at the moment. I can't wait to see which face will finally stick. A third shared. I have always said that Archie looks like his mother from the first time we saw him at the photo call. He's a mini Megan with his curly and wavy hair. Some commentators, however, thought Archie still largely resembled his dad. One wrote, with his hair out he looks like Megan but with a hat on, he's spit image of Harry. Another agreed. He looks like Harry, and he has red hair while others just couldn't decide and said that he looks like both parents now. In Prince Harry's new TV show, where the new clips of Archie debuted, Prince Harry has been more candid than ever about his struggles with mental health and just how intensely his childhood within the confines of the royal family impacted him. The royal spoke candidly about the death of his mother, Princess Diana, and how he tried using drink and drugs to cope with the emotional pain and trauma he subsequently experienced. Thankfully, with the help of therapy, Harry has managed to work through many of his mental demons and is living a far happier life now. And now, Oprah has spoken about how Harry's honesty and candor may not be helping his relations with the royal family. During an interview with CBS this morning, the program's host Gail King asked, He's candid in this series. Do you think that being as candid as he is, is going to help him with the royal family? Oprah responded. I don't know if it helps with the royal family, but this is what I do know, is that being able to express your own personal truth in a way that benefits you, also helps other people to see the truth in themselves. Prince Charles feels, wretched, after Prince Harry's latest criticism of the royal family, but he still wants reconciliation, it's claimed. The Queen is also said to be, deeply upset, by what Harry has said in his recent interview with Oprah Winfrey in particular his comments about his father's parenting, according to an insider. The source added it has been, a very upsetting time, for the royal family, it's fair to say what Harry has said in both interviews with Oprah has been seen as very callous within the family. Prince Charles is said to be ready cut ties with Prince Harry if he was to attack the Queen personally. While tensions are clearly high between father and son at the moment, it wasn't long ago that the two had a close relationship. Prince Charles's ex-butler, Grant Harold, revealed that their bond is irrevocably broken, with the prospect of reconciliation between the already strained duo completely shattered by Harry's comments. The Duke of Sussex, who was working as guest editor for BBC Radio Fawz Today Show, revealed he and his dad often shared long conversations with each other. In a resurfaced clip from 2017, Harry and Charles appear to be on great terms with each other. A topic that always got them heated was climate action, a cause Prince Charles has been championing since 1968. The Duke went on to establish his respect for his father's knowledge of the environment, adding that he often consults with him on the issue. The royal pair also revealed their affectionate nicknames for each other, with Harry referring to his father as, Pa, at the beginning of the interview. At the end of the segment, Charles addressed the Duke as his, dear boy, before praising him for giving him, enormous optimism, on the issue of the climate emergency. Unearthed pictures show a number of occasions Harry was on a bike with his dad. In one, at Sandringham in 1990, he is in a seat on the back of Prince Charles's bicycle, with his brother William pedaling along beside them. And in a black and white snap, 
Charles is seen towing a small Prince Harry in a cart off the back of his bike near Balmoral Castle. It comes after Harry insisted that the explosive Oprah interview was done, compassionately, to leave room for reconciliation with his family. The Duke said that he was speaking the truth in a way that he hopes will allow for healing after the explosive CBS interview. The Me You Can't See episode also saw Harry claim he had been neglected by his family. Harry claims he felt compelled to step away from the royal family as he was controlled through fear and told not to talk about his trauma. Thank you for watching. If you liked, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. We will update the latest videos about the royal family every day. Thanks and goodbye.